are always a possibility. The most important thing is someone who I can feel very safe and comfortable around. I do regret severely not taking. Hey guys, it's Erin and for today's video, I am going to be doing just a simple q and I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some questions and I'm going to be answering them. I haven't looked at any of them, I'm just going to be scrolling through, so the next time I do a QA and a video or any sort of video where you can participate, make sure you go follow me on there because that is where I ask you guys everything. Let's just get into the video and start answering some questions. First question, what is my go-to comfort movie slash show? I wouldn't say I necessarily have a comfort show or movie that I can think of at the moment, but some of my favorite movies, my favorite movie of all time is Good Boys. It's so funny. Another one, my dad actually recommended this and I watched it with Lex last year. It's called Animal House. It's kind of about these like college boys and a frat and it's really, really funny. And then another favorite of mine growing up especially was Soul Surfer. One of my biggest idols growing up was Bethany Hamilton. Maybe that could be my comfort movie. I suppose. I'm more of like a TV show person though. Maybe a comfort show of mine or any of the Disney Channel or like Nickelodeon shows that were out when I was a kid because that was prime time for TV and that makes me feel so, so old that kids now were not there to be able to experience Hannah Montana, Victorious, iCarly. I loved all the shows like that. Next question, what would you do if the guy you're dating gets his name tattooed on you? If you want to do that, that is your choice. It's your body, your choice. You can decide to get a tattoo of your significant other's name, completely up to you. But personally, I would never do that because the possibility of a breakup is always real. If a guy that I was only dating and not even married to were to get a tattoo of my name on them, I would be probably thrown a little off guard. I wouldn't necessarily be flattered. Yes, it is a nice gesture and the thought was there. Just considering the fact that breakups are always a possibility even in marriages what is your favorite thing about doing your major and minor in school i am not going to lie business majors do not get enough credit sure compared to like stem it might be seen as easy but classes like economics and accounting and finance they actually kick my butt it's really hard i think the whole general idea of just business in general is something that's really interesting to me i'm excited for next semester though because that's when i get to take all my emphasis electives so i'll be taking international marketing and digital marketing which i'm really excited for especially digital marketing because obviously i do youtube but i would say my minor is definitely my favorite thing i am so excited to take my classes for my minor next semester because i will be taking advanced concepts in music technology live performance so i get to learn about like all the stuff and technology and things that go like behind concerts how the microphones and speakers and some of you this may sound really really stupid but i'm really excited for that and then i will also be taking post-production and audio techniques so hopefully it's not only going to help expand my tool belt when it comes to music technology, but I'm hoping that it'll also help me with things like YouTube and editing. This question actually just makes me very happy. It's really, really sweet. It's just, how are you? I really appreciate you asking that question, actually. I'm doing good. Definitely a little bit stressed. I have a very hectic weekend coming up and I'm very excited for it, don't get me wrong, but I am a little bit stressed. I've just been super, super busy. Just a whole bunch of things added to my plate. There's definitely been some highs and lows. However, right now I'm very, very happy I'm having a great time with all my friends and I just am enjoying my life right now. I don't think I've ever been happier to be honest. Thank you for asking. That means a lot to me. I love you. What unpopular opinions do you have? Doesn't have to be related to NSB. This is really, really weird because my order for boba, my favorite boba drink is green Thai tea. My most unpopular opinion, maybe, is I think matcha just tastes like grass. I hate it on its own. Literally anything with matcha but a green Thai tea, I absolutely don't like it. That one's just kind of like funny, but if you want, I guess, more of a deeper opinion of mine, if you're at a point in your life where you're not looking to get married anytime soon, it is okay not to date to marry. And let me explain before you jump to conclusions. The people you date in your life 
before you find your person that you spend the rest of your life with is to learn what you look for and don't look for in relationships and you learn more about yourself. It helps you build your standards, look for what you want, gain a better understanding of what you look for in a relationship, what you look for in a significant other. A little bit on the deeper side, what are you holding on to that is holding you back? If you would have asked high school me this, it, the answer would have definitely been grudges. Currently, maybe fear of rejection. A lot of times it does prevent me from doing things and something I'm trying to do more is just say yes and go for these opportunities even if it doesn't turn out the way that I want them to or expect them to. I definitely have passed up a lot of opportunities that I do regret severely not taking because I have said no due to the fear of how it could possibly turn out terribly for me. <laughs> what is your favorite song at the moment? My favorite songs at the moment because I can't pick just one. Recently it has been Generation by Triple S. For some reason that song has just been hitting different lately. I don't know why because I've known about that song like since it came out. I absolutely love Misery by NSB. That is one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite song that they have come out with. The Weeknd by Millie is really, really, really good. I love a lot of 88 Rising artists, especially Keshi. I got into him last year and oh my gosh, he is amazing. XOXO, SOS, or Beside You. Those are my favorites. What is my ideal type? Obviously, personality matters way more than looks. I think someone's personality can make them a lot more attractive. If there is a guy physically who fits my type to a T, like 10 out of 10, but he has a terrible personality, that makes him an automatic zero. If you know one thing about me, it's very, very obvious that I have the biggest crushes on Jungkook from BTS, Sebastian Moy, and Asian Gami, Ryan Wynn. If you wanna kind of put like a face to my type, those are some of the people that I could give you to describe what my type kind of looks like. Taller than me. I don't really care by how much. Preferably six foot or over, but honestly, if a guy is like 5'10", that's perfectly fine. Personality wise, I would say that's where my standards are really high and I could go on and on and on about that for days and days and days. Some of the biggest green flags and character traits that I look for in a guy, respectful, understanding is a big one because that is very vital to having good communication. Honest, independent. I don't really find it attractive when somebody can't take care of themselves without having people to make decisions for them. The most important thing is someone who I can feel very safe and comfortable around, very much willing to be open with me and vulnerable. A guy is willing to have that deeper conversation with me. That's something that I value a lot. So this is the last one, but I guess it goes hand in hand with being independent, but maturity is a big one. Last question of the video. Are you excited for tour and seeing all your friends who are stars? I am so excited oh my god i cannot wait by the time this video goes live i will be going to the la show in two days i'm going to the roxy concert which is going to be so much fun because my two first friends who were stars that i actually met in line at the first roxy concert in may of 2022 the first concert they ever did i will be there for them meeting the boys for the first time i will be meeting up with a bunch of stars who i have become friends with recently and have been friends with for probably a long time there's gonna be a lot of content coming up don't worry i will be vlogging the roxy concert 1000 percent i can't wait i haven't seen the boys in quite a long time as well i saw oliver and reggie and February for Valentine's Day, two and a half months ago, and then the last time I saw all the boys together was in December. It's been a fat minute, but I am so incredibly excited to see all the stars and to see the boys again. If you see me there, please say hi. If you see me at any of the events in the future, like please come up to me and say hi. I love meeting you guys. At the Venice concert when people were coming up to me saying that they saw my vlog, it absolutely meant the world to me. So if you do see me at an event, please don't be shy. I'm not a mean person. I don't bite. I would love to meet you. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really enjoyed answering all your questions and just 
you know, I know I do all these vlogs showing a glimpse into my life, but just doing a sit-down video where I get to answer your questions and this is kind of a way I get to interact with you guys when I don't get to see you in person. So I love doing videos like this. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter when I do more videos like this in the future because there will be a lot more to come. So if you haven't participated in one yet, you will have a chance in the future too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below of anything else you want to see, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications for new videos every Wednesday at 10 a.m. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! As long as we keep the flow, flow, flow.